and welcome to the latest video on the Power On channel. Today I'm going to be testing these LEDs. Now these are quite large LEDs, some of them are 100 watts uh, allegedly and I think one of these is 50 watts. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what I purchased but really it's a little bit of a selection. I've got three suppliers here. These two came from one supplier, these two came from uh, another two separate suppliers. Um, reading around the internet, yeah, these are seconds, um, probably not going to work very well, but I'm just interested to see actually how well they do work. First off is uh, this particular one. Uh, I'm not holding out a great deal of hope because they haven't put it in an anti-static bag, so if it was any good, um, it probably isn't anymore. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder them in individually, and then I'm going to use this power supply to crank up the voltage until I can just see the LED start to come on. And we'll determine how many LEDs in this particular cob array are still working, what their forward voltage is, and really, yeah, whether they're worth making into something else. Okay, let's start by soldering this first one up then. So my first problem is working out positive and negative, and I can just see there it is, positive and negative. So what we'll do is grab the iron, the solder. Turn a little bit up there. It's actually switched off. Make sure we've got positive and negative. Lighten that up a bit. So we've got the white stripe is the positive. And the negative. Okay. Now, of course, these LEDs would need some very good heat sinking in normal operation, but I'm only going to um, switch them on as far as the LEDs actually start to illuminate, and so I'm not going to be pushing too much current through them at all. So what I'll do now is I'll set the forward voltage, and these should be around about the 30-odd volt mark. So I'll start off at around about 24 volts. and immediately we can see an issue. Let me just turn this overhead light off. Now this LED shouldn't be illuminating at this stage. Let me just see if I can zoom in a bit further and get you a better shot. So hopefully you can see the issue there. Um, what we have is a very uneven uh, display. We have some very bright LEDs. We have some missing LEDs at this stage, probably short circuit. And there are only out of the, this is a 10 by 10 matrix. This must be a 100 watt LED. I can see if I just use a screwdriver to do some pointing here. So I'm looking at this first row here, looks good. The second row has got two missing. Rows three, four and five look good. Row six has got one missing, two missing, three missing, and obviously some very bright ones. Row six doesn't look too happy, we've got one, two missing. Row seven looks a bit bodgy, not too bad. Row uh, I must have miscounted, so I should be up to 10 by this last row. But yeah, you can basically get the picture that um, these have started to uh, conduct as a voltage which is below what their forward voltage should be for this whole string of 10. So we've got 10 lines, uh, 10 in parallel, 10 in series. 
Um, so yeah, immediately showing some problems there. And if I keep turning up the wick on the voltage, yeah, you sort of see that um, most of them start to um, to conduct, but they're still sort of showing different brightnesses. We've, we've still got one down here that's looking a bit sort of, how are you doing? Uh, it's actually a lot better than I expected. Um, but, um, yeah. So, I don't particularly want to take it any more than that. It's still quite low brightness. We're still on 25 volts. It's only providing um, 0 0.01 of an amp, 10 milliamps. So, um, yeah, okay, number one, not too bad. Let's just zoom back out again. And power off. And it's just started raining here in Sydney. But we do need the rain, so I shouldn't complain. The garden is as dry as pop that to one side. I don't think I'm going to put it back in that plastic case. That's not going to help things, is it, really? Moving swiftly on. Again, checking for the positive and negative. I can see that says positive up there. And negative. Interesting. It says positive there and negative there, but that's the heat sink, so I think I'm going to have to bell this out. Just bear with me. Okay. So this is the back plate which is not connected to those tabs. So we've got a positive here. Ah, okay. So that looks like the back plate, but it's actually not. It's, it's this connection, so this one should be okay. So I'd say that the top is negative, the bottom is positive. So again, tinning up. Double check. This is positive. Quick, how are you doing with the positive? And the same. With the negative. And let's see what this is doing. So I'm just going to knock this voltage down a little bit, seeing as the other one came on quite quickly. Maybe zoom in again. Okay, at 24 volts, let's see. Oh, okay. That's all come on. Um, I'm going to go down a little bit lower than that then, just keep on going down. Switch the overhead light off, that's better. So we're going down, then we're down at, so yeah, they've gone off now, haven't they? So, bringing this just into view. Let's go try and get them both in view. Okay, so we're looking at 22.69. I don't see anything happening to the naked eye. Taking that up. 
Yep, I can just see those are coming on now. 23 volts. Just getting some illumination there. A little bit uneven, but I have to say, again, I'm actually fairly impressed. <laughs> it's a lot better than I expected it to be. That seems quite even. I'd be interested in any comments uh, you guys can offer as to um, the efficacy of this testing that I'm doing. Always keen to learn more. But actually that's looking quite nice. Better than the first one. I'm not seeing any massive differences between those chips. Ooh, that's getting bright. That's just getting a bit painful for my eyes. I do actually have some um, welding glass here. Oh, can't see anything. Let's see what happens if I really... Yeah. Start to crank it up and it, uh, it uh, then penetrates through. But, um, yeah, 26 volts. A little bit lower than I expected the forward voltage to be, but I'll, I'll check that on some of the spec sheets and we'll look at that in a minute. But that's looking pretty good. On to the next one. Okay, here we are with the third one. I've already uh, wired this one in. This is from the Chanson, and it's a 100 watt natural white. Uh, it actually indicates on the packet there, yeah, 32 to 34 volts forward voltage. So let's start like we did with the other ones at 23 volts or 23.4 volts, switching on. Yeah, okay. So we have some illumination. on all the LEDs. Sorry if I didn't get my hand in the way, wouldn't it? Just turning that voltage down. Yeah, I can still see that. That's pretty much 22 volts. So very similar to the last one. Uh, 23, 24 volts now. Let me just now we'll just go up in voltage, one volt steps, one volt, whoa, yes, <laughs> two volts, ow, that hurts. Yep, I'm, I'm going to be looking at spots for that two days. So yeah, up to about 26 volts it gets very bright. Pop that on top and do that again. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31. So that's that's pretty good. I don't want to leave this on very long at all. 88 watts, 2.98. So yeah, wow. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. And yeah, that got warm very quick. So warm. That I'm just going to try and cool that down. Okay, last but by no means least, I've got here this other one from Shonzon, which is actually a 50 watt one. Um, again, same forward voltage, so we're probably just going to be looking at uh, five rows of ten. Switching it on quickly, and I'll pop the light off. Zoom in a little bit. And let's start popping this voltage up. 10.1 volt increments. Yep. So they've all come on. That looks pretty good. Yeah, they all look very even and they're all illuminated. Give them a quick whirl. Whoa, yeah. As soon as the other one got hot, no, I'm going to leave it on. Switch it off. So that's actually quite a good result. 
let's have a look at the listings for these and maybe let's look at some of the spec sheets or, or spec sheets that should be typical of this sort of device. So here we are on the desktop. I thought I'd show you the listings for the LEDs that I've just tested. I'm going to go in reverse order. So the most recent one that I sold it up was the 50 watt one. You can see here it's come from the store Chanson. Um, so well packaged, 50 watts, uh, US $5.66 it says here. Um, and if I just move quickly across to the, the 100 watt version, $7.60. I have to say those two LEDs, the chips don't look too bad. I mean, these chips are not going to be class A. Um, I don't know what makes them class B. It must be maybe some um, electrical testing that the manufacturers are able to do. But at least with these two LEDs, the um, LEDs all seem to come on pretty much at the same time, the same forward voltage, around about 24, 25 volts. Um, so yeah, look a lot better than I expected, as was um, this one here which I got through eBay. This is from Pan Pan Supermarket, a similar sort of price, maybe just a little bit less. The one that was no good, which I tried first, um, um, yeah, I don't know whether sort of uh, price is anything to go on. Um, <laughs> Maybe it is in this case, uh, $2.49, but I have heard reports that price is not a good indicator of performance. Uh, maybe I've just been lucky in this regard. Anyway, just taking a quick look over to a typical uh, specification sheet for this. And so as we noticed when I was doing the video, uh, the 100 watt LEDs are indeed 10 1 watt LEDs and uh, 10 in a row uh, in series. Um, if I look up to the specifications quickly, so yes, at, at the sort of forward voltage, running forward running voltage of 32 volts, you'd expect it to be taking 3.5 amps, so I'll be checking that later when I've got it uh, attached to a heatsink, a suitable heatsink. Uh, in terms actually of temperature, um, I think there was a diagram here. Yeah, look, this is um, available forward current three and a half watts up to around about 60 degrees centigrade so yeah I will be doing some checking uh, trying to make sure that I can keep the LED under 60 degrees centigrade anyway look that's the beginning of the project I've tested the LEDs I hope you come back and watch me make this torch it's going to be quite a lot of fun I'm going to do a full instructable for it so you'll have a whole list of parts and where you can buy them from and yeah, um, biggest torch in the street. Anyway, see you now. Bye.